Okay, so let's now talk about the, uh, the, the, the DNA replication and uh, to understand the process of DNA replication we need to understand what is the rules of different enzymes. We have four main enzymes that control the process of DNA replication. The first one is called the helicase and the helicase is that you can consider it like a zipper. So uh, it, it is responsible for the unzipping of the DNA strands. Again, its action is like a zipper. Then the DNA polymerase, and this is like the builder. It builds the, the, the complementary DNA strand. So this is the, uh, the, 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 the enzyme that is responsible for always the building. Building the DNA or even the RNA polymerase will build the RNA. It will be important for the PCR mechanism. It always build. Then the third enzyme is called the primase. The primase will make a prime. And the prime is a, a specific structure that is responsible for making initiation of the DNA polymerase to work. Meaning that the DNA polymerase, although it can build, but it doesn't know where to build. And the, 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 the primase will be responsible for giving the instruction to the DNA polymerase to uh, orient the DNA polymerase where to start or where to build. So it is responsible for initiation of the DNA polymerase. And finally, the ligase, and this is the gluer. It is gluing the uh, DNA fragments. It can uh, stick the fragments together. So these are the enzymes. Again, we have the helicase, the, the zipper. We have the DNA polymerase, the builder. We have the primase or the initiator. Then we have the ligase or the gluer. So let's start what is the, uh, the process of the DNA replication. The DNA replication starts by the helicase or by the action of the enzyme of helicase. And as you can see, the enzyme helicase will cause unwinding of the double-stranded DNA. So it will, although, uh, 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 so that this will, uh, the enzyme will cause unwinding or will be responsible of having two uh, single-stranded DNA in, uh, uh, instead of double-stranded DNA. So what happens when the this enzyme occur or this enzyme happen. After unwinding of the DNA, here the primase comes and the primase uh, tell the DNA polymerase where to start. So the primase gives the, 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 the initiation for the, the DNA polymerase in order to start building the complementary base DNA. So let's see this in action. We have here the double-stranded DNA from 3 prime to 5 prime and the other from 5 prime to 3 prime as we said it is anti-parallel so the, what is the first uh, the first step is the helicase the helicase will do unwinding of the DNA so we have here now single stranded DNA and another single stranded DNA after the helicase does its action then we start the building a new strand or a new complementary strand this strand is called the, uh, or this is called the replication. So this can be done or initiated by the initiator or the, the primase. So the primase uh, gives the order to the DNA polymerase in order to start building the complementary basis. And here is the thing, here is the rule. The rule is that the DNA polymerase and the, uh, and the primase always, always build the complementary strand from 5 prime to 3 prime orientation so it always go like this it always start from the 5 to 3 so so the primase comes to the 5 end or the 5 prime end and tells the, the the dna polymerase to start forming the dna pairs or to start forming the the replication and also in the other side the primase comes to the other side on the 5 prime end and tells the DNA polymerase to start the initiation or to start building the, the complementary pairs. So what happens next? 
then the enzyme helicase will continue to uh, unwind the double stranded DNA. So, as we have here the DNA polymerase and in this strand and this strand, both of them going from the 5 prime to 3 prime end. And as the helicase will work, so the primase tells the RNA polymerase to, to continue their action or to, to continue from the 5 end to 3 end. So that in one strand, the RNA polymerase will continue. The RNA polymerase will continue formation of bases from the 5 end to 3 end. However, the problem is the, in another, the other strand. Because the, the DNA polymerase was going in this direction from 5 to 3. But here now as the DNA is unwinding, the, the primase will go to the 5 end. It can't go from the 3 end, it will go for the 5 end. So it will call for the DNA polymerase in order to go to the 5 prime and to initiate or to start the, the uh, building the base pairs from the 5 prime to the 3 prime. So they, again, it will form from the 5 to 3. So this what happens. Uh, the, both DNA polymerase will move from the 5 to 3. The thing here is that in one strand, the, the process of DNA polymerase building pairs will be continuous as it is from it is uh, the 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 primase is always uh, calling the dna polymerase at the direction of 5 prime to 3 prime on the other hand on the other strand the the the, the primase will jump into the 5 uh, prime on the other side so it will call the dna polymerase in order to start from the 5 prime to 3 prime this will as the the dna is unwinding will result in gaps in one strand. Uh, so in one strand, there will be a continuous fragment or continuous DNA. And in the other strand, it will be uh, discontinuous fragments. And these fragments are called the Okazaki fragments. The Okazaki fragments are the fragments of DNA of the, uh, of the, the DNA strand of five prime to three prime as it is built from the uh, or the DNA polymerase is building from it has a complementary base from three prime to five prime. So every time the DNA polymerase start to build, it will build from the five prime end. And as the DNA unwind by the helicase enzyme, this will result in some gaps between the DNA fragments. This is called the Okazaki fragments. So how can we glue these fragments together? Here we come to the action of the enzyme the ligase so the ligase will just glue these fragments together in order to form a single strand dna and so we have a complementary copy from this strand and the complementary copy from this strands both of them will uh, then uh, coiled together to form the new dna strand so the dna replication process will be done So this is the picture will summarize the steps that we mentioned. So here we have the uh, the the single the double stranded DNA. It will be first unwinded by the helicase enzyme, and after it is unwinded, the, the DNA primase will initiate the 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 the, 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 the base pairing. So the DNA polymerase will come to start to put complementary bases, and this always takes place from the five prime to three prime this in one end on one strand so uh, it, uh, and this is on the other strand but the problem here is that the always the DNA, uh, RNA, DNA polymerase will be forming a base in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction so that uh, this will be continuous or uh, this strand will be continuous while the other strand will be formed from again 5 prime to 3 prime so it will be discontinuous as the DNA helicase unzipping the DNA leading to formation of the Okazaki fragments that will be uh, glued together by the action of the DNA ligase.